if you are looking for a video just to clear your concept about use state, use state hook and how to use it, how to define it, and how to grab all the concepts about use state hook, what is going behind that. So in this video, you will learn all these concepts. So before everything, let's uh, define it. What is use state hook? Okay, use state hook is just a function which add is which add state to your functional component. Now you will see that what is state. So state is nothing, just a value or variables to your component. That is just a variable that you are adding to your component. So now let's we will create three examples: one for the counter, the second one for input fields, and the third one for the objects. Okay, how to uh, update our objects? How to set up our object? So now let's create uh, the first of all for the counter app. So the first thing is to import use state, uh, use state hook from uh, React. Okay, let's write that has imported from React. After that, let's I will write here something that is, for example, um, counter count. Okay, I will just print the value of count here. Whenever you would like to uh, print the value of the variable variables, so you should just write these brackets. And let's create a button here. Counter or just we will call it increment so whenever we press this button so we should just uh, increment our counter so now let's create our use state what use state how we can uh, just use use state so let's first of all write use state so this is use state function okay that we will use okay so it will return an array to you here inside this you will just uh, uh, enter the initial value the default value and this use state will return an array to us so let's check it at the reality it return an array to us or not state is equal to use state hook so now let's print it okay so to print it let's console it console.log and we will just print state now we will check it so our react app is running okay so now let's move to the chrome browser and let's move to the console to see at the reality that it run an array to us or not so see this is an array which has returned okay it has two um para, uh, two elements the first one is see this is the zero elements which is undefined we didn't define the default value the second one is a function with us okay it has two element a function and the default value so now let's uh grab the first element from it okay so let's write const count is equal to state zero just take the the first element from our array okay the state is an array with us we will just take the first element from our uh, array and let's define the for the default value the default value is zero for example okay so now let's print our count here let's check it see we printed that okay it is zero has printed for us now let's check that uh b console console i removed the console if you print it now it will have zero for the default value so now let's use the function okay the second element which was a function how to use that function okay that function is used to update this value so let's first of all write that const um we will just see count is equal to state the first element okay just take that so now whenever we press this increment button we will call a function on click and just call increment function let's create that function we can directly call this set count also but I will just create a function now let's call this set count function and we will just write count plus one. So whenever we press this button, so it will call this increment button uh, function. Inside that we will call this sit count and that will increment the value of count. Let's check it. Just come here, let's press it. See, the value is counting incrementing. So it was all at, it is what's going uh, behind uh, the use state hook. So now let's, in short term, we are we are writing something like this, okay? Instead of all these things, we are uh, just destructuring our array. We are writing like this. Instead of this, we write here array, then we write count, set, count. So now this is our default value, and this is the function that we want to update our value. And let's use here, is, yeah, that is okay. So now let's use in input fields. Okay, how to uh, save the values of in input fields? Let's create first of all that. So whenever we are writing something in this input fields, we should store them somewhere. Let's create another variable. Value, set value 
is equal to use state the default value is an empty string and now let's call on change event here on change and we can uh, again call another uh, function and create that here or we can directly call this function from our in change event here so to direct call that let's create an arrow function and we will call that sit value and we will just write here e dot target dot value so now let's print this value that we are writing inside that so to print that let's write to print that we, i will just write value is okay this here uh, before is we will print our value so now let's check that just come here let's for example write something see that is printing here so it was all about that so now let's create an object okay from use state how to just update the object how to create object using use state hook so to create the object i will remo remove all these things i will write uh, just const object for i will just name it object set object is equal to use state and inside it we will define the object now let's write count the default value is zero and also the value the default value is an empty string it is an object that we have created now let's write here um, value dot value uh, sorry object dot value object dot value and also object dot count So if we run it now, right now the that is zero and the uh, we don't have any string there. So now whenever we want to update, for example, we want to update the count. So how to update it? Okay. So whenever we press this increment button, so it will call this uh, increment function. We can update that directly here also, like we did before. Okay. But instead of that, uh, right now we don't have this sit value function. So let's remove it. Okay. So whenever I press this button, so it will call this increment. So now let's uh, update our uh, count variable here. So update that, let's call set object. First of all, whenever we write that, so now here we will get uh, create another function where we will get our previous state. So to create that, let's write preview state. It will give return as our previous state, okay, that we have. The previous state is what? This, this default state, this default value that we have. So now we will update our uh, values object so to update our object we will just write like this okay dot dot previous state this is spread operator okay control set previous state so this is spread operator oh, this means that it will return just the previous values which we have okay and now we will update our count so to update our count we will write like this count previous state plus one it will add just one to the previous state Right now we have zero, it will add one, then we will have one, then it will be uh, counted. So let's check it. Let's press the increment button. Uh, sorry, object, uh, object one. That has uh, printed, but here we should um, object dot uh, count. So instead of previous state dot count, we should write like this. Count plus one. See it. Uh, let's refresh it. Yeah, let's press the increment. See, that is incremented. So it was all about use state hook. Uh, in the use state hook, this is the default value. This is the function that we would like to update this. And this is the function that we are calling. And inside this, we will just de define the initial or the default values. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like this video, and thanks for watching.